Hey guys, we're here today to share a little bit about my story. I've had rheumatoid arthritis for 23 years and I have my eight-year-old son Jotham here and five-year-old Zoe um, because they have been in this thing and in this battle with me their whole lives. And um, you know, even recently Jotham's been sharing with me his prayer request. Buddy, why don't you share what you wrote on your Vacation Bible School prayer request? Um, for my mom off the ride is to get better because it's giving her a lot of pain. Yeah, buddy. And Zoe, what have you been asking me at night when we pray? Mm. Why can't you sit on the floor? Why aren't your hands straight like ours? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this has mm. been heartbreaking for all of us. Thanks, guys, for sharing. You can go play. Mommy will finish. And we're coming to you from sunny Florida, and uh, we have an urgent need that just recently Kelly has found out about a miracle procedure in Panama City in Central America. And uh, it's stem cell. They take the, uh, the umbilical cord and they harvest stem cells from it. They take some of Kelly's um, body tissue and they're able to see extraordinary results with rheumatoid arthritis. Look, if you know Kelly and I, you know that she suffered with rheumatoid arthritis for 23 years. What most people don't know about Kelly is you probably don't know really other than you've heard about it because you don't see her ever complain, you don't see anything. But if you look at her hands and you look at her feet, um, you know, she, she has very little mobility and the pain has gotten worse and worse and worse to the point where she is bedridden now for a lot of the times. And uh, we, we, need, we need a miracle. And so just recently, through a friend of ours who's a naturopath, MD, is actual MD, said that stem cells the only thing that's been helping people. So we went looking at it and, uh, and we found it's extraordinary testimonies of, and, uh, of people being totally pain-free, off medication. We're talking about people that have had three knuckles replaced, their knee replaced because of rheumatoid arthritis. Um, Kelly, I'll let her share with you, but she has tried everything. And you know, when you're like this, everybody's got some, try this pill, try this thing. She's been all over the world. Her parents took her everywhere, from Mexico to all over the world, trying everything. And some of the silliest stuff you wouldn't even believe because when you're in that much pain, you, you'll try anything. So uh, uh, we're asking for your help and uh, we, we need it uh, urgently because it's $24,000 to get this procedure. It's really not that much compared to like going to a hospital, but insurance obviously won't cover it. And uh, we just don't have that money. So we need to do it right away. You can see Zoe there in the background. <laughs> so, uh, um, Dave, what do you want to say? We go on August 15th. So it's a, it's a quick work. We were just introduced to all of this on Monday and um, things sort of happened suddenly this week. And um, the Lord's just confirmed to me, I'm ordering your steps, trust in me, lean not on your own understanding. And um, I believe in the miracle of power of God, but I know his ways are mysterious and his ways are higher and they're not our thoughts. And so I'm just asking, no. Zoe, I'm just asking that you would stand with me and declaring that it is finished and if you could support me financially in going, I'm gonna be going on August 15th. Thank you guys. Not one more month, not one more year, not one more deformed finger, not one more night of crying and pain, not one more prayer request from my little boy. Not one more question from my five-year-old asking, Mommy, why can't you get on the floor? Mommy, why are your fingers crooked? Mommy, why do you have a handicap placard? No more. It is finished. And all glory to Jesus. I thank you guys for declaring this healing with me. And I love you guys. God bless you.